Good morning. We're going to take a look at two problems here that you guys wanted to look at. Uh, 24 and 25 with improper integrals. Uh, so 24 is the integral from 0 to infinity of x e to the negative x over 4 dx. And so the first thing we have to do is change the limits of integration. We have to get rid of that infinity and just make it a b. Makes things much easier for us. e to the negative x over 4 dx. And we're able to do that because in front we're going to add the limit as b approaches infinity. All right. Now I admit I'm going to sort of forget about this part for a little while and just work on the integral. Now that the infinity is gone, we can work on that by itself. In order to do this, you have to do integration by part. So I need a u and a dv in my equation. And then I'm going to find du and v as well. Uh, u is going to be good to choose the x here because when you find du it becomes 1 and will make the next integral much simpler and that makes dv is e to the negative x over 4 and to find v you have to take the integral of that I can do that pretty well in my head it's going to become negative 4 e to the negative x over 4 um, Hopefully you're getting close to being able to do that. It did take a quick u substitution. So here's what I did in my head. I need the integral of e to the negative x over 4 dx. So I made u equal to negative x over 4, which means du is equal to negative 1 fourth. But there is no negative 1 fourth, so I had to add a negative 4 on the outside and then that becomes e to the u du, which e to the u du is just e to the u when we take the integral, and hopefully you can see how I get over there. That's a fairly popular integral, um, so hopefully you can start doing that type of u substitution in your head. It will make life a whole lot easier. All right, but let's move on and keep going. So now we can do integration by parts. This integral is going to equal u times v. So there's part of v times u e to the negative x over 4. Hopefully you can see I just multiplied these two. Uh, minus the integral from 0 to b of v du. So negative 4 e to the negative x over 4 times du, which thankfully du is only 1. That makes this integral a whole lot easier to take, and integration by parts will in fact work. Uh, right now, I think just to be safe with negatives, I'm going to make those two positive so I don't forget that later. Um, I can pull the 4 out, I suppose. So rewriting the first part, negative 4x e to the negative x over 4 didn't change. Um, if I pull the 4 out, I'm going to take this integral. Remember, we just did that integral up here. And so hopefully you can see what's going to happen. We're going to have another 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. This 4 was positive. That 4 up there was negative, so this will be a negative 16 e to the negative x over 4. And we have to evaluate this whole thing from 0 to b. So first we're going to plug in b, so negative 4b. Now I see a negative exponent right here, so I'm right now going to move that to the bottom and that's going to become e to the b over 4. 
So I just took this and moved it to the bottom of the fraction when I plugged in B. It makes things look a little bit nicer and it will make the next step easier. Minus, what are we going to have here? Uh, 16 on top. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move this whole thing to the bottom because of the negative exponent. So that's going to be E to the B over 4. So we plugged in B. Now we have to subtract and plug in 0. This is actually going to be easier. If we plug in 0 to this one over here, you can see X is going to be 0, so 0 times this whole thing is 0. So that whole term will go away, that's kind of nice. Um, if we plug in 0 into the next one, this is going to be a 0 up in the top of this fraction, so 0 divided by 4 is 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So we're just going to be left with a negative 16. So that's kind of nice. Now I'm going to remember the thing I said I was going to forget. That we are taking this whole thing as the limit as B approaches infinity. So I'm going to write that one more time. Okay, And we're taking the limit as B approaches infinity of this whole thing. So imagine B getting really, really big. B getting really, really big. In this case, both denominators are going to overpower the numerators uh, by a lot. It's an exponential. So both of these fractions are going to go towards zero. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, with the 16 plus plus, so we're left with zero minus zero plus 16. So this integral, after you take the limit, is equal to 16. It's kind of nice how it all works out there at the end. Alright, we've got one more to take a look at. You guys want a 25? This one is pretty rough, actually. It's long, but I think I can get it before the bell rings. Uh, I'm going to pause. I'm going to start a new video here because this one's going to start slowing down on me.